When emergencies happen, you want to get into the ER as fast as possible. That was the case for Amber Chan. In fact, she drove herself to the emergency room, checked in, and then was stuck in a pretty pricey situation. It was the shortest, yet most expensive ambulance bill Frank Chan and his wife hope they'll never see again. I was shocked by this bill because I know exactly how far the distance is. In November, Chan's wife Amber drove herself to the emergency department at El Camino Health, an acute care hospital in Mountain View. She was admitted and then transferred to the mental health inpatient clinic. The El Camino Hospital used the ambulance. Amber told us on the phone she wanted to walk, but was told an ambulance was required. Despite the fact the distance from the ER to the inpatient clinic was approximately 100 yards away. I'm shocked. A short trip that turned out to be a pricey one. I got a bill from Royal Ambulance and they charged me $2,255. My insurance already paid them $573.91. More than $2,200 for a 100-yard trip? I went to go see the distance for myself. Amber was being transferred to a building directly next to the emergency room. It took me less than a minute to walk there. That's what Amber wanted to do, but she says she was told she had to take an ambulance. We wanted to know why. I was so shocked. Chan said he was stuck sorting this out for five days as both agencies pointed fingers at each other. He says a manager at Royal Ambulance told him, Yeah, this is your bill. You have to pay for it. Then the ER desk at El Camino Health. She pointed me to her manager to get an explanation, but nobody answered. And I left her message. She never called me back. You called El Camino Hospital how many times to sort this out over the past five days? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, actually thirteen times. 13 times. The ABC7 News I team reached out to El Camino Health and Royal Ambulance, but both agencies were unavailable for an on-camera interview. In an email, El Camino Health told the I team, if a patient arrives in our emergency room and it is determined they need care that is required in a building not connected to the hospital, professional medical transport is required to ensure patient safety. El Camino Health funds this service and the patient should never receive a bill. But I got a bill. The hospital added, we have since been in contact with Royal Ambulance and they have rectified this matter. Did you get confirmation from El Camino Hospital that they will cover the rest of that payment? No confirmation yet. Even this morning, they're still pointing me to the Royal Ambulance. Royal Ambulance told the I-Team Chan's insurance plan underpaid the claim. The company says they offered to help have the claim reprocessed to reduce expenses, but ultimately waived the unpaid portion of the bill as a courtesy prior to any contact with ABC7. In the end, the bill sent to Chan appeared to be a mistake. But by the time El Camino Health told the I-Team the situation was resolved, Chan said he still had no idea. It should not take hours on the phone or the intervention of a news station to get a hospital to correct their billing. Carmen Balber is the executive director of Consumer Watchdog. How often do you see cases like this where consumers are, are overcharged or get a bill that's wrong? It happens all the time that patients are overcharged or get unjustified bills. Patients are billed for procedures that never happened. Patients are billed for doctors they never saw. Patients are billed for charges that they legally are not required to pay. As Barbara explains, it takes looking at the bill and not just paying by reflex to find those discrepancies. If this happens to you, get a full accounting from the hospital. Make them itemize what each charge is for. State law requires hospitals to let patients know if they qualify for financial assistance. But all too frequently, that's a page on a form the patient misses when they're in the middle of an emergent medical situation and then end up with a huge bill at the back end. Charged up front, forced to ask questions later. This brings us back to Chan's case. While his wife wasn't eligible for financial assistance, they still ended up with a big bill. I think it's very unfair. But thankfully, an hour after our interview... I got a call. It was from a royal ambulance. They said the bill has been cleared. I don't own them anything. Chan says he finally got some closure. Thank you so much.
Now, another tip to look out for. Hospitals may bill for what's called out-of-network charges. You can tell because they're often expensive, but can be challenged. And the good news is we have some protections in place in California to avoid these situations getting overcharged. Mm, that's uh, so it, hard. It, yeah, on yeah. top.